Yes. Now, when did Megan Good start rapping and singing and all this and doing, you know, and jumping in mosh pits and all this? Um, well. Because, you know, you got the little Jada look right now, you know, the, the, really? the, the, set, it, the set it off look, you know, she oh, had the, yes. you know, when she, after she robbed the bank, she had yeah, the, yeah. the beat on and yeah. she was looking yeah, like I this and all, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I had the money too. Uh, <laughs> now, it's a well out there for you. It's a well out there for you. <laughs> Um, you know, I was, I, me and Lamaya both started off singing and acting. Okay. And as kids, we kind of went different ways. She took the singing route, and I took the acting route, and, but it, but it's been heavily in both of us, mm -hmm. um, for, since we were kids. Okay. And so I was in a little band with, with the two twins from, um, ATL back in the day. All right, We cool. used to kind of rap, and then <laughs> I just kind of was just like, all right, I'm not going to do it anymore, because I, I, I wasn't excited about that particular situation. Yeah. Um, even though the girls are amazing, but. So Lamaya was doing her thing, mm -hmm. and then it kind of came full circle with um, one of my best friends, Amy, who's my best friend since I was 14. Who's also my writing partner. Right. Okay. And then she was in a band with another girl named Sterling, who I've known since I was 13, but hadn't seen her in years, but she's... What, what, where is this block at? Is there all these people? You got twins from ATL, yeah. you, my man right here oh. with the rings, man. The it's a small rings, circle. Direct, it's, like, a small it's a small circle, circle okay. in LA. <laughs> you, if you, and I, was, I was looking at an old videotape at one of my friends' house, and Everybody was in it. It was like a, a picnic, and it was like Jada Pickett, and it was um, Tamia and Tyson Beckford, and this person and that person. Wow! And so I think back now, and it's like I grew up with Marcus, Marcus Houston. I yeah. remember Christina when Milian. Nick Cannon was driving from San Diego every yeah. night to make his yeah. gigs, and Christina Milian, and me, you know, I had the buck teeth, and she. It's just wow. It's a big circle, and everyone's known each other since they was kids, anyway. I just want to ask you a serious question. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, you grew up with. All these people, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You said Nick Cannon was in the Jeep and all this down. Yeah. So what people that, you know, you don't really, like, sometimes you're like, damn, I don't even know this. This person act like you don't even know me. I can't do it. There's, oh, a, yeah, there's quite a few of them, though. <laughs> and you, and like, you know them, and it's yeah, really sad. And they know who they are. And you know all right. who you are. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, but but I, God bless them. Yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Well, you know, I, I asked her, I went, you know, I wanted to ask her what was the three worst movies she was in, but she won't. Say the three worst movies. I'm very political. Yeah, I mean, smart. Like that. Smart, smart. You know, it might be a worst movie, and this dude comes out with Spider Man 84 and wants to give exactly. you 500 it trillion was, million. It might be my worst movie. I've had some people come up to me and tell me this is their favorite movie that I did. I love The Cookout. I love yeah. The Cookout. I love when, you know, when you told off um, the girl when you was. Oh, uh, in the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got a little inch in you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you killed that one. <laughs> Thank so, you. So, what's the three <laughs> best movies? The three oh best movies. Um, I mean, that, not, not even best, but the ones that you truly liked. That you I, feel like, I did my thing in that. I was ha really happy with Waist Deep. Okay. Um, because I was really nervous, right? Because that was my first, like, leading role where it was just, like, yeah. I was the main chick. And I was, like, my stomach was in knots. So I was actually really happy with that one. Um, I really like Stomp the Yard a lot. I was really happy with that one. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Um, Yo, you never you never age, too. You're, like, always, like, thanks. the little sister or the uh, girlfriend, you know. Thanks. Uh, you know, all right, Stomp the Yard. <laughs> um, And then I'm going to either go with. Why well, Stomp the Yard, though? Because I can ask a couple other ones. That was my first um, number one movie in the nation. That hey. I beat out Cameron Diaz's movie. So it was for me, it was a big deal because... What happened to the part two? What, what, I seen they did I, something. I had nothing to do with that part two. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I what try happened? To, I try to leave it at part ones for me. Okay. You know, but but with this new movie, Jump in the Broom, I don't know. They're talking about a part two. That, to me, could work as a part two. Um... So besides, let me you see. Said, um, I'm either gonna have to go with either East Bayou. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Me, it's, it's, I'm very real creepy on that. That movie was, was real yeah. creepy. Now you were young doing that movie. Yeah, I was 14. So when you did East Bayou, was you was you scared when you seen that movie? I was actually there while she shot it. Yeah. Um, me and my mom were both on set, <laughs> and uh, it was it was awkward to say the least, but. You know, she handled it like a pro. He handled it like a pro. It wasn't like the kiss with Sam. Yeah, because I'm assuming that's what he's talking about—the creepiness, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. So, <laughs> Megan, is, come on, uh, man. They were professional, <laughs> and it was no. A, uh, you had know, a Brooke Shields No moment. inappropriateness yeah. going on. Our, <laughs> our mom was there on set, as well as me, and just a few other particular people. The director. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a no. I I I cannot. I think I've only done maybe one or two movies where I haven't had to kiss somebody. Like, rather, I was 
14 and kissing a 45 year old Sandy Jackson, <laughs> or 23 and kissing a 16 year old Bow Wow. <laughs> you know. How well was that? It was weird. <laughs> That's my homie, though. I, I love him. Yeah, he over dog. now, but the battle was yeah. like, yo. But at the time, I was like, come on, y'all. Like, I'm about to be 23 this week. Uh, like, what, what, what did Bow really do after he gave that kid? He was like, you know, came to the trailer, hey. I know you want me. <laughs> Get your little ass. My, you know what? Some people, and it's and it's for me, and I think every every you, you never me. age, man. Like, come on, Bow's like thirty two now, right? Or something, man. Like, I ain't even thirty two yet. <laughs> um, nah, but uh, yeah. how, how did that? I mean, I know was it very awkward? Like, it was awkward because he was just so much younger than me. Yeah. And then of course, you know his, you know he was younger, so he's like Justin Bieber at that time. And <laughs> of course, I was getting death threats, and you know. Oh, for real, from little girls. Yeah, thank God Twitter wasn't out then. Cause, wow. Oh yeah. Wow, wow. So your favorite? So you're saying what's your number one movie that you? I mean, that you really felt felt that you did your thing? I don't think I've done it yet. Wow, that's a great yo, man. You you've given these a lot of political questions. Let me answer this real. It's true though. I don't think I've done it yet. So. Yeah, you know, uh, are you into the the Holly? You know. Oh yeah, I didn't even include our movie. <laughs> yeah, what I thought we were saying exempt. I, I see it. <laughs> I, I seen him. Yo, let me tell you something. I seen him getting red. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, my, video girl. My, my, she's good at video girl. That's no, I would say. Yo, he's like all time favorite. Fucking bow wow. You telling me you're gonna miss you this bitch? <laughs> my favorite performance is in Miles from Home. Of okay. everything that I've done thus far. That's what it is. So give your Twitter. You know, yeah. your fa do you have a Facebook or you you didn't give no, one? No, I never had one. Cause I know it's like a million. Just so Megan everyone girls. knows that is not me on Facebook. It was never me. It wasn't oh, me on yeah, MySpace. I never that had ain't one me on either Facebook. Would. Mm -hmm. um, but I am on Twitter at, at Megan Good, and I will do everything in my power to make sure I respond to you.